Hey guys, so it is a no makeup, don't give a shit kind of day, so it's where we're at, it's what we're doing, hope I don't scare anybody away with my ghoulish face, but eh, whatever, tired mom eyes for life, yeah, so, some days all the makeup in the world doesn't fix that shit, anyway, <laughs> so I wanted to Oh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I wanted to make a video in hopes to kind of create a shift. I just feel the need to do this. I don't know. And I've been thinking a lot lately about what things make me feel sacred what in my path. And this can be anything from a time, a place, a thing, or clothing, um, uh, certain parts of the weather, or some times of the day. So I thought this would be kind of fun to spread out there to see what everybody else feels. So for me, I have a handful of, I think I'll just start with times of the day, or, um, yeah. And I, I mentioned before that I'm a night person, so the night tends to generally kind of spark creativity in me. I tend to be more inspired and think more clearly and think more creatively. <clears throat> Excuse me. Any art projects I do are always done at night. Any writing I do is always done at night. Most of my videos are done at night, unless it's now when my kids are... Oh, hi, Prue. <laughs> um, napping or, you know. <clears throat> but, yeah, so the nighttime tends to kind of make me feel a little bit more sacred. And even so, to the point where I love... <clears throat> oh, goodness. I love having my window open, and I love feeling the night air come in. I love hearing the wind go through the trees. I, I really love um, looking at the moon and the stars. I love standing outside and just looking up on all that. I mean, there's a feeling you get when you stare up at the stars that just, it's awe-inspiring, it's incredible. So that would be my time of the day. Definitely night tends to make me feel more sacred. But, and then, um, weather. I love storms. Storms make me feel empowered. And they make me feel like I can do anything. <clears throat> when the sound of the wind comes from a front moving through, and you can hear it kind of hit the house, I love that sound. Or when thunder rumbles and it shakes the whole earth it's incredible and it kind of it's things like that that spark the passion in my path and my beliefs i love things like that because it reminds me of why i do what i do so <clears throat> goodness oh allergies man just they're not giving up so or the sound of rain I love when rainstorms come through, or I love days where it's just raining all day. I love the rain. I love windy days too. And I think it's just because I'm water. I'm water, or I'm a, my sun sign is an air sign, my moon sign is a water sign, so. So I tend to be drawn to that kind of stuff. And I feel like that reflects very deeply on my path. Those two elements kind of make me who I am. But that can be said, I mean, I love the sound of the cackling of a fire. I love staring into the fire. So those things also make me feel empowered. I feel like fire kind of helps me do away with stuff I don't need. It helps me banish things and kind of reevaluate the things that I could be rid of. So those are other things that help me feel sacred. Let's see. When it comes to possessions or things that I own, 
There are a few things that I own that I've had with me since the beginning of my path. One of them is my Athame. And I actually should have pulled it out for this video, but maybe I'll do it at some point. It's honestly, it's a cheap, it's a cheap Athame that I bought off of eBay when I was like 17, 18. And it's got a, um, a ship and a mermaid on it. And I just love it. Like it's, it's not very well made, but it's awesome because it's been with me for freaking ever. So, well, I keep feeling like I have to sneeze. Um, so I love that just because I've had it for so long and it was with me when I started my path. And I'm a very nostalgic person, so I tend to find a lot of, uh, hold a lot of weight in things that have helped me carve my path and have been with me for so long through so much change and so much growth. Um, places. Well, I had mentioned in one of my videos recently, I think, that I went camping in North Cascades National Park right around this time last year, actually. And I was talking, actually, it was I think it was in my last video. Um, <clears throat> I was talking about how the those trees kind of walking through the trails and stuff and looking up at those massive, massive cedars and, and redwoods, there's just a feeling that you can't even begin to describe. I felt so sacred within myself and my practice that entire trip. I felt spiritually charged. When I came back here to Minnesota, I was elated. I I wanted to go explore. If I had the money, I would have taken another trip and gone to another national park. I just needed to be around nature's wonders because it helped spark something in me that I think I desperately needed. And at that time, I was still getting used to having two children. My youngest son was only six months old and I wasn't sleeping much and stuff too. So I had gone through a lot and was recovering. So. Um, I would say definitely the Cascade Mountains in Washington State is a sacred place to me, but also because I've spent a lot of my childhood camping up in those mountains. And um, another place is the Puget Sound in Washington State. My family has a lot of lineage on that water, so that helps me kind of connect with ancestral work. And when I was visiting in Washington in March, I had a moment where I was staring out at the Puget Sound, and this was the day after my mother passed away, and I was moved to tears because I could feel my ancestral line guiding me through such a painful time. And it was a very profound moment. And I remember my husband walked up and stood next to me. He noticed that I was crying and he didn't say anything. He just left me be with with what I needed to feel, which I really respected. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. I keep <clears throat> clearing my throat and itching my nose. It's just, ugh. So, and it's not just Washington that's sacred to me. I've always been very drawn to the ocean, and I think that also is family lineage ancestral work. My great-grandfather was lost at sea. My grandfather didn't really know him very well, so... I come from a line of sailors. I'm also, oh my goodness, um, I'm also of Scandinavian descent, so, you know, you do the math right there, <laughs> or solve that puzzle. But I have um, a tattoo on my back that is, uh, it says um, ocean in, um, in kanji, in Japanese, so. So I've always been really deeply connected to the ocean as well, and I find it sacred. And so actually seeing a lot of this, um, um, this work on four ocean that, uh, that um, I don't wanna say charity, but I can't think of another word that Brittany was talking about they they go and they clean up the ocean and they do a lot of amazing work apparently and you can get these bracelets where if you buy one then it's a pound of ocean or trash moved out from the ocean 
I've been seeing a lot of news articles lately on how we are coming together as a collective to clean up our oceans more as well. And um, I love it. And I really want to get one of those bracelets. I just, I need to be able to have the, the time where I can kind of take that money to, towards that. It's, it seems like not enough, but when you're a stay at home mom, any little bit is a lot, but that's completely another topic. So, you know, oceans and forests and mountains are things that I view sacred. There are places on this planet that I want to go because I view them. I, I think that they will hold that kind of energy. Um, I have family members who went to Patagonia in S South America and it looks amazing. And it just looks like one of those areas where it just seems like it holds so much sacred energy. So, um, those types of things help me feel sacred in, in my path. And I just think this might be kind of a fun topic because that is going to be different to every single witch, the things that make us feel sacred. And when it comes to what's here in the now, this this all behind me makes me feel sacred. Our, our bedroom here is, is my space. I painted the walls my favorite color. I have everything that is me because I tried to create a space where I could go, where I could feel sacred, especially in times where it was very hard for me to do so. Um, the ash tree out in my backyard is something else that feels sacred to me. I remember when we looked at this house and walked into the backyard and I saw that tree, I was like, wow, that thing is gorgeous and there's so much energy coming from it. It just, it's a beautiful tree. And recently we had someone come out and assess it just to make sure it was doing okay and trim some branches off of it. And they told me that it is, think 50 years old so and that's it kind of interesting because the ash tree um is what supposedly teacher still is so as soon as I found that out I was like interesting <laughs> but sitting under that tree or putting my hands on that tree or walking on the earth barefoot I tend to even when my kids are playing outside I won't be wearing shoes I'll, I'll be barefoot just because I, I want to keep that connection and keep keep myself either feeling grounded or feeling sacred and <clears throat> I feel like in this time sorry if you hear my son he's playing in his room um I feel like in this time where there's so much going on in our world and there's so much going on in our community and within ourselves it's really hard for us to feel sacred and it's really hard for us to find what we need to feel sacred. So I'm kind of hoping that this is a reminder to think about those things and to find those things within yourself that what help recharge you, what, what helps you feel powerful in, in yourself and in your path. Tell me about it. I want to know what helps you feel sacred. Let me know because I really hope that I can spark something here. This is, this is me always trying to like start a passionate fire. I just think that's like my goal. I don't know. But anyway, it's Wednesday. Hope you guys are having a good week. I sent my son off to preschool for the first time. Yesterday was his first day. So it was pretty emotional for me. And then this weekend I'm going camping. So I'm hoping I can make a video while I'm camping, but I'm kind of thinking I probably won't sleep much having two toddlers in a tent. But we'll see how it goes, but I'm going to the beautiful Whitewater State Park in southern Minnesota, so I'm super excited. I've never been there before. It's, I'm just, I'm thrilled. Um, even if I don't get any sleep, I'm thrilled. I hope I can do a video at some point where we're hiking or just stepping away on the campground or something because I'm hoping I can record a little bit because I'm sure it's going to be gorgeous. So anyway, blessed be guys. Think about what makes you feel sacred.